Hello friends, what's up? It's me, Percy. So today, um, I have been getting like huge requests for this character. I have no idea who he is, but y'all kept commenting on my videos. Please draw Gumball from the amazing world of Gumball, which I researched and looked into, more like typed it into Google, and I saw it's a Cartoon Network show. So of course I'm gonna teach you how to draw this cute little blue furry cat. So let's get started. All right, the first thing I want to do is I wanna go ahead and at least make a circle, okay? All right, so after I make this circle, which is I am kind of keeping nice and skinny. I'm gonna get rid of that line. I don't even know why I made that one. I'm not gonna make it as wide as a circle, but it almost looks like it's turning into an oval as well. But let's go ahead. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna try and make this into a more of a perfect circle <laughs> so I can correct my mistakes, obviously. Can never make a good circle. Okay, so after we make this perfect, somewhat of a perfect circle, circle what you're gonna do is you're gonna come out to the side right here and you're just gonna go right back into a circle like that all right after that what you're gonna do is let's go ahead and jump inside his head and what I want you to do is I want you to go ahead and get rid of some of these guidelines now that we've got the basic shape of his head already down okay next what I want you to do I want you to come up here and we're gonna go ahead and give him his nice little ears. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna come on top, give a little triangle right here. And he doesn't have really like pointy cat ears, they're very round. Of course, everyone who knows the show knows what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna come off to the side right here and I'm gonna give him just a little bit of distance, okay? And this one's gonna be smaller because it's hiding on the other side of his head a little bit more. Like that, okay? Now let's go ahead and jump inside and figure out where I wanna lay his eyes because his eyes are very interesting. They're kind of like almost squares, but they're like rounded squares, not exactly sure. So I'm gonna come inside right here and I'm gonna make an eye here and then I'm gonna come in right here and make an eye here. Okay, now his eyes do take up most, as I am observing him, <laughs> his eyes do take up most of his face. So this is a point where we would have to kind of start playing around and make it bigger and make it more adjusted to his face since it does take up the majority of his face. And see how I'm keeping it in a more of a square-like shape, but I'm rounding off the corners because that's essentially what his eyes are. They're like rounded off. So I'm just keeping on adjusting and everything, making it a little bit wider. Just adjusting, 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 always. So I'm gonna jump inside like this, and I'm gonna go ahead and just erase it to give me a better outlook of where am I placing my eyes. So now I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna kind of like shift this over just a little bit because it seems like his eyes are a little bit Mm, I, I, I don't know how to say this. They're just off. They're like turned almost. So I'm still keeping my shape, but I'm giving it, I'm pushing them like a little bit, like, you know, like the Leaning Tower of Pisa almost. That's what I'm making them into. Then after I'm done with his eyes, I am going to go up to the corner of this eye right here, and then I'm going to come over to this corner right here of his eye. And I'm making this a long, kind of like a rainbow almost, and then I'm going to come back and I'm gonna connect. So I kinda just made almost like this weird looking teardrop. And when I say teardrop, I mean it's gonna be wider out on the edge right here. And it's gonna be like a more of a pointy starting beginning point like right there. So I'll race this just a little bit so you can see what I just made. Like that, okay. After that, what you're gonna do, you're gonna jump right in the middle. So right here, and you're gonna go ahead and you're just gonna cut this little piece out like it looks like an orange slice and then I'm gonna come down I'm gonna draw a line right here okay so we just made the kitty cat now his eyes are weird right here what you're gonna do is you're gonna come down from the corner of your mouth this top of his mouth right here and it's the corner of your mouth you're gonna come right back up and you're gonna connect into this right here just like that 
Then, of course, you're going to jump inside and you're going to give them that tongue. And then you're going to come over here and you're just going to chop off this side right here, which is just his little tooth. All right. And inside of his eyes, which I keep adjusting, I am going to make him round them rounder. More than, as opposed to like square, but you know what I mean. He kind of looks like he has square eyes and at the same time, it looks like he has round eyes. So they're really interesting. I like them. They're cool. Anyways, in his eyes, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to jump right inside the middle. And I'm going to give him an oval here. And I'm going to jump over here and give him an oval right here. Just like that. Okay, and then of course I can fill these in because they are black. All right, then I'm gonna jump inside his head again and right above his eye, I'm gonna give him a little itty bitty eyebrow here, which kind of just looks like a upside down jelly bean, like that. And then I'm gonna come over here and give him another little jelly bean over here like that. And I'm going to give him a little bit more space from his eyebrow, and his head, and his ear, because he does have space. Like that. So if I erase those crazy guidelines, you can see I left space. Right there. Just like that. Alright, after that, what you're going to do is, okay, so we got to make his, like, alright, so this side of his face is good. We're good to go over here. Now we need to come over here and make sure this is more of like, like a whole other like oval starting. So I'm coming from out under here and I'm connecting to here so I can finalize this, make this nice and round. So it looks like a poofy cheek almost, it looks like a chipmunk cheek, just like that, okay? Then after that, what I'm going to do to finish off his face, he does have some interesting whiskers that are just off to the sides. Interesting character. I love him already. I've never seen the show. So what I'm going to do from this part right here, I'm going to make a line here and I'm going to make a line here like that. And then I'm going to come over here I'm going to make a line here and I'm going to make a line here. And then I'm going to come right here and make another line right here. Okay. Now after that, what you're going to do is you're going to come inside right here and you're going to make a little bit of a hill. After the hill, of course, you're going to come down underneath his chin right here and you're gonna bring down a little section right here. Okay, so we have this hill, which I'm gonna bring this down a little bit more, and then I'm gonna come over here off to the side and go bloop, and connect here. And bring it down a little bit more, and bloop, connect there. Okay, then after that, what I want you to do is I'm gonna bring this down a little bit more. Come on down, as I keep going down, I'm gonna start to curve to the right stop there and then I'm gonna come just a little bit down from right here where I started my shoulder I'm gonna come down right here so just to leave a little bit of a gap right here arm and then it's gonna go off to the right just like it did at the bottom but keep this nice and rounded at his elbow comes down and this is very easy as you get to the end right here you're just gonna cut it off like that and then you're going to come up just a little bit here and a little bit right here and then you're just going to make a circle connecting these two points together like that and then i'm going to jump in bloop and bloop and then after that i'm going to make his shirt more complete and i'm going to give him the cuff of his shirt like this and then i'm going to separate the cuff like that and then after that i'm going to bring this down after that, what you're going to do is you're going to come off from the bottom of his elbow right here and you're just going to make a nice little interesting like oval, okay? Just going to make this oval and it's okay if you separate it. As I come to the oval, I'm going to go right back and curve towards his hand and underneath his hand I'm going to bring, make sure I bring his little stomach up just a little bit more like that. Like that. Okay, and then I'm going to come right here in between and I'm going to chop that off like that and then I'm going to come down 
this. All right. See, so I chopped off the top right here. Come in more like this. And then I'm gonna come out to the side right here. I'm gonna make this beginning point of his leg. So I have this point of his leg right here. So now I'm gonna come off to the side over here. I'm gonna make this point of his leg. Start it off right here. So let's start with this side of the leg. So it's just basically, it's like comes out to this point right here. You're gonna curve around like this, and then I'm gonna curve downward a little bit behind this point of his leg. So we're here and here. I'm gonna come down here, and I'm gonna curve it and go right back up to that connection. Okay, and then I'm gonna cut off the bottom of his leg like that. And then I'm gonna come around and come around from the bottom of his cuff right here. So I come around here and I'm gonna connect these two parts there. Now we made one foot. I'm gonna come upward with this leg. Come up. Bring this one down a little bit more. Then I'm gonna come up behind right here like this. I'm gonna make that a little bit fatter. Okay, just like that. And I'm gonna start from right here, curve around and back into my pant leg. Okay, and then I'm gonna come and jump inside right here and give that same pant leg. Another thing that I've no I'm noticing about him is he's got, from his little belt buckle, he has like the pants dividing source, which is just right here. And then right here, like those two pants seams that you have in your legs, okay? And then from underneath his like belly to his leg, he has a black strip right underneath. So you just want to fill in that black strip. And then right underneath here, you want to fill in this black strip like that, okay? And then of course, for his little paws, feetsies, you are just going to separate it with two lines like this and come over here, bloop. Bloop. Bloop, 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 Okay. And of course, um, he has gray pants. And then like the cuffs, the bottom of his pant legs, I don't know what those are called, pant cuffs, I don't know. Uh, they're tan. So, and they match his cute little shirt. He's cute, I like him. So let's give him one more arm. So we have an arm, just kind of like way up here, coming out from the side of his face. <laughs> So, I'm gonna start right here from the corner of his like little mouth, cheek, whatever this is. And I'm gonna curve upward like this, okay? And then I'm gonna come upward like that. All right, so it's just curved upward. And then of course I'm gonna chop it off like this. And then of course I've got these two little parts right here, similar to down there where we kind of gave him a little bit of a wrist. And then what you're gonna do, from this point right here, you're just gonna come upward, make a little rainbow. And then you're gonna come off to the side and make another little rainbow and connect to right here. Okay, you're just gonna connect these all together and then you're gonna make a little bit of a half moon in here. Like a, no, a crescent moon. What am I, I know my moons. And then you're gonna come inside and go bloop and bloop. There we go. Wow. This paper does not take pencils well. Last but not least, we're gonna give him the most important thing to make him a cat, his tail. He needs a tail. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come off from his butt right here, obviously. So I start right here, and I'm gonna make another little bloop here, and then I'm gonna come upward and round it back down like a cat tail. Oh, and then he's got another little, like, strand of black here. I think it's just like the shadows to make him pop a little bit more. I don't know, but it's pretty cool. I like this dude gumball gumball i like him he's cool well there you go guys i hope this was helpful i hope it was fun it's a fun little tutorial and he's kind of a cool character i need to try to google him or something youtube him i don't know if they have youtube episodes but yeah i hope this is fun i hope you liked it i hope you have a wonderful week bye